Hello, everyone, and welcome to the show that shall not be named. Today, I'll be drawing a sort of human-alien handshake, if you will. I'm starting with a pencil sketch. Drawing out the, the hand here. I used a reference photo of my own hand. I just have it pulled up on the computer screen here. When I use a reference photo, I don't follow it super precisely. I mostly just use it for the pose, positioning of everything on, you know, especially something more complex like a hand. They're kind of difficult to draw. And yeah, I'm just coming through and hashing out all the little details. Here I'm starting on the alien portion of the drawing. Kind of using a doodle, automatic drawing techniques for this a little bit. And basing it off, loosely off of some Geiger type, Geiger-esque sort of stuff. Here I'm coming through with the fine nibbed fountain pen. Just doing some outlining and some contour lining here. Make sure to get all the crazy creases. <laughs> Hands are... Uh, like I said before, they can be pretty tricky. I'm sure anyone who's tried to draw one knows. And yeah, I just, I like to use a reference when possible, but it's good to know kind of how they're constructed, you know, draw some skeleton hands and stuff like that helps a lot. And then yeah, here I'm lining out the. I'm call I'm calling this a alien neurological upload socket. I guess seemed uh, appropriate. The uh, term alien neurological upload socket is a bit of a mouthful, so maybe there's a way to shorten it. I don't know. I can't think of anything. Yeah, here I'm just going through and picking out edges and contours and lining them all in. And we're going to take the kneaded eraser and clean up some of the pencil marks real quick and then it's on to the extra fine for some hatching here I'm just picking out all the little shadows there's a lot of little lumps and bumps especially when a, a hand is like closed tightly if you look at your palm if you close your hand tightly and look at your palm all the wrinkles turn into little bumps it's really interesting looking. So I was trying to capture some of that. You know, hatching underneath on the shadows, leaving a little bit of a highlight there. It's kind of hard with hatching because you can't get as much detail as you, you, you could with something like, you know, pencil shading, for example, where you can get a, more of a gradient. Especially at this size, these drawings are pretty small. And yeah, just, uh, you know, taking a look at my reference here and there to get all those cool little shadows. These, I notice these shadows across the knuckles, they kind of reveal the bone underneath a little bit. The shape of it anyways. When this, the reference photo was lit from sort of a, I don't know, 
10, 11 o'clock angle. So I will attempt to shade the alien neurological upload socket uh, from the same angle here in a little bit. And then, yeah, I'm coming through here and same thing, just uh, getting hatching on this underside, trying to leave highlights and shadows where, you know, right where they need to be to get all those crazy shapes. Pulling some hatching through here, getting a nice shadow where the finger is kind of going into the alien thing, just to get, you know, that nice little bit of contrast there, like it's in shadow. And then, yeah, I wanted this center portion to be kind of jutting forth a little bit, you know? a big donut shape around it so just kind of trying to imagine how that would be lit it'd probably be pretty dark from that angle but I was trying to make it look like it maybe had some reflected light coming up and shining on it And then, yeah, I'm just coming through and hatching and trying to get values where I think they should go. And then, yeah, I'm just trying to get this donut sort of shape to pop out a little bit in comparison to the, the area behind it there. Uh, just picking, picking angles at which I think the light would be hitting it and leaving the highlights there and you know, coming through. I actually came through with quite a bit more hatching than I normally do on this type of stuff and like consideration to the light source so just trying to get a little artsy fartsy with it if you know what I mean and then yeah I'm going to start doing some cross hatching here and that's just so we get you know some extra like deep values in the areas where the we need more shadow i already did a little bit in the hand uh, i wanted to just come through and make sure that it makes sense visually like that the shapes would be catching the light from the same angle that it's hitting the hand when you're mixing something from a reference together with something from imagination, sometimes it can be kind of difficult to get the light source to look natural, like it's all coming from the same direction. Yeah, so I was really trying to focus on here. I think I achieved what I set out to do fairly, fairly well anyways. Yeah, I'm just darkening in the uh, the area that the finger's sticking into. And then adding some little circuitry bits. I got a napkin. I was smudging the crap out of everything. And 
And then, yeah, I was uh, planning on drawing some backgrounds, so I wanted to come through real quick and just bulk up this peripheral line. Make sure everything was going to stand out nice and good. Oh, we're doing that there. And then, yeah, for the background, I decided to do some doodly automatic type stuff. Just tubes and shapes. But with the um, extra fines so that it had a more contrast with the foreground. And then, yeah, just doing some hatching. I'm trying to keep the hatching fairly light so that it doesn't overpower the foreground. I'm just going through and picking out shapes and contours. Just kind of randomly, semi-randomly, anyways. <laughs> I wanted it to look like there were some tubes and things hanging down in the background, so. Just give the background a little visual interest. Adding some more tubes and gibbets, gizmos here and there. Large flat shapes, rounded shapes, <laughs> all sorts of shapes. And then, yeah, we really wanted some nice contrast on the uh, alien neurological upload socket. So I darkened that in. And then, uh, yeah, just adding a little bit of cross hatching on the background to make the edges pop out. And that's pretty much going to finish it off. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you to my patrons on Patreon, and I will see you guys in the next one. All right, bye.